injury rehab and prehab puzzle. So you should always be tra training in a prehab sense, especially if you're not competing or anything. Like you want to live and enjoy your life. Trust me, I've been going through back injuries in the last two uh, two years. Uh, due to ego, not going to lie, I tried to keep up with the big boys at the CrossFit gym and just blew my back out. And it's been very frustrating in the return. So I want you guys to learn from my lesson and realize you need to mobilize what's tight. You need to activate what's loose. So usually, whatever you're mobilizing, the other side or the opposite muscle is going to be not quite used to doing the work. So you need to switch it on before you get stuck into exercising. Your core needs to work. So your core connects your top to your bottom. Once you're connecting your top to your bottom, you'll find that that power transition from the floor to your upper body at improves significantly and your spine's going to be ready for training strength so strength training like i said uh, keeping that range of motion well sustaining that range of motion that you've gained through mobilizing and adding the strength training means it's going to consolidate so you're going to get to keep what you've gained through that exercise if you're only mobilizing and activating it might help for a little bit but you won't get the full piece of the puzzle the connection and get the great results that you can get from connecting all four Last little bit, um, and consistency, sorry. Consistency over time. You can't turn up for four weeks and expect a miracle. It's not a, there's almost no such thing as a miracle in life when it comes to your body. You need to constantly work at it. It needs to become a lifestyle so that you can maintain what you want to maintain because if you don't use it, you'll lose it.